Hey guys, and hey all you Final Fantasy XIV fans out there. Final Fantasy Fan Fest 2023 is coming out next weekend, and so in preparation for that, I thought I would review something that just came in a few days ago, which is the Loperit Flocked figurine. So we're gonna check it out. It's a lot larger than I thought it was gonna be, which is probably a good thing. I thought it was gonna be like half the size or something, but uh, this had a pre-order price of, I think it was $64.99 but it looks like a pretty detailed figure upon initial glance. So let's open them up and check them out. Okay, now it is a very nice weight. It does not feel lightweight at all. <laughs> all right. Oh, fabric clothes, which is nice. And yeah, it's super cute. It actually really reminds me of like a jumbo sized Sylvanian family doll. Very hefty, kind of surprising. It's, it's got definitely that super soft feel, but it's not a squishy face. It's actually a super hard <laughs> face. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so um, if we're talking about flexibility, that's something I'm gonna have to say off the bat. There's literally no elbow joint in this thing. He really just can raise his, oh, what's weird is I can't even raise his arm all the way up. Let me look at the picture here. Somehow they got him doing this, but his veil or whatever, his hat is hard plastic. So obviously you could see the problem here, unless maybe I turn his head to give him room. This directly uh, conflicts with being able to raise <laughs> his hand high enough to uh, say hello. So it's soft fabric. He's got a little fabric here with his little belt buckle, which is cute. <laughs> this is actually similar to his face, a flocked plastic. So it's got a, a velvety suede feel to his little, his little tail. So he's got little elastic pants here. He's got, I mean, there's not like a ton of detail because they are kind of simplistic character designs, but I mean, he's got somewhat detailed boots with a little kick up part near the toe here. So that's kind of cute. Looks like his glove has a detail that's, I think this is just painted, but I mean, it looks fine. Obviously his hand is just in a cupped position, so you're not going to be doing any crazy finger poses or anything with him. I'm a little disappointed they didn't put just a joint for the elbow here, because maybe that would actually help him lift his, you know, bend at the elbow here so he could lift his arm higher. Because it's almost like, well, what's the point? <laughs> you can do this rotation with the arm and that's about it. There's not much more than that. His face is very cute. He's got a little pearl paint kind of detail on this little button here on his hat. Everything has a nice like matte finish, other, other than this, obviously. Um, his ears are also that soft flocked effect, which is nice. They're not like soft, like they don't bend. And they also feel like they don't rotate at all. And the plastic itself has this ridged effect on the sides. Yeah, as you can see, he's got little plastic eyes that have a, a slight like opaque glow to them almost, I would say. It's nice. As you can see here, I have a light off to the side so it catches the light in the eyes really well and kind of gives it natural highlights, which is very much like what you'd see in the game. And at this close uh, detail, you can even see the little hairs, the little synthetic hairs from the flocked effect. It looks like they did the, the whiskers just flat on the face, which I don't think it's like that in game, but maybe they didn't want to deal with any actual whiskers sticking out for some reason. The nose is like slightly pushed in, which is kind of weird. Like as you can see here, it's a separate piece, the nose, but it is still very cute. The painting on the eyelashes is great. The only downside obviously is the lack of posability. Hopefully your purpose for this is more of a display piece than to actually play with. If you're gonna play with it, you might be sorely disappointed. But I mean, it's really cute, especially if you just wanted him on your desk, because you could probably easy, easily, let's see, I can rotate his legs up. So he would be in a good seated position if you wanna seat him on your desk. Like say you put him near your computer when you're working. He's very sturdy. You're not gonna like see him tip over. So that's kind of nice. I could put him next to my stand cup and Estinian if I wanted to. I think it, there's not like a ton of uh, figure merchandise for 14, so that's why I kind of jumped at the chance for a Loperit. And it's a great size for display. 
It's a little pricey for some people, especially because of the lack of posability for $65. I would have expected maybe a joint or two more, maybe, but that's fine. I think it still serves its purpose. So again, that's the Loperit Flocked figure from Square Enix. I'm not sure if it's currently available on the store. I know it was a pre-order thing that was timed to be around FanFest, which is next weekend. Uh, so it might be a little hard to find now, unfortunately. But if you see it on the internet, uh, I'd say pick it up. But in any case, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.